World Test Championship 2 is about to get underway. So what are your team's chances? That's what we're discussing on Hogs Vlog. There are nine teams participating in the World Test Match Championship and we're going to go through the fixtures and see what are the pros and cons of each team's calendar. So let's firstly go on in alphabetical order and we'll go with Australia first. Not because I'm Australian, because it's in the alphabetical order. Now, Australia, they play 50% of their games against the top teams and uh, they also play 10 games at home and 8 games away. There are their calendars there. But the issue that they have is that they play Pakistan, Sri Lanka and India away. So those three teams are on subcontinent conditions and Australia don't do well there. So they've got to make sure they map, uh, maximise and capitalise with their home ground advantage against England, West Indies and South Africa. But I can't see them winning all five test matches uh, against England on Australian soil. I think England are just too good to allow that happen. So if we look at last year's percentage wins, 67% of the wins, uh, percent of wins to losses got you a position in the final. So Australia need to win 12 games. So that's going to be very difficult when eight of those games are away on subcontinent conditions. So they're going to have a tough ride about it. Now, I'm going to give my ladder at the end of it. So this is the pros and cons. Now, let's go to Bangladesh. Now, it's a subcontinent team. Um, now, they play all subcontinent teams on their home soil, and they play Western teams away, as we can see up there. So, and they play six home games, six away games. They don't play Australia or England, so they've got an advantage there of not playing two of the top four teams. But because they're playing Western teams away from their home soil, I can't see Bangladesh threatening anyone to get into the final at the end of the year. Now, England, they've got the most games in the World Test Match Championship, two of 21 games. Uh, where they need to win, uh, well, what amount of games they need to win is 14 wins to reach that 67% percentage of wins uh, that we saw last year championship to get in this year's final but they've got a bit of an issue they play India at home and for me this is the series that will set England up and decide their fate whether they're going to play in the final uh, after the two years or not if they can do, do, uh, dominate India and win four of those five test matches and not allow India to win have a draw in that fifth test match that sets them up perfectly and then they've got to beat Australia at least twice on Australian soil uh, to have a chance of getting in that World Test Championship so uh, I don't think they'll let New Zealand do what they did to them last time New Zealand have beaten them in the last four test matches twice on their home soil so I think they'll want to rectify that so New Zealand will be under the pump and I don't think South Africa is strong enough so they'll have dominance on their home soil and Australia, West Indies, Pakistan away I think they'll win a couple of test matches there they don't play Bangladesh and Sri Lanka two of the weakest teams which will be an issue for England Rightio, now we can move on to India India have 19 games of which 13 games they will need to win to get in the World Test Test match championship final. Uh, nine games are at home. The good thing about these games is that they are playing Western teams on their home soil where they have a huge advantage and they've had a lot of success. So they've got New Zealand, Australia, uh, but they've also got Sri Lanka there, which should be a lay down as there. What that means is easy wins to uh, India on their home soil. But away, England is the big clash for them. This is where their nightmare could begin in this World Test Match Championship Series. If they don't stand up against England, they're on the back foot early and they'll have to catch up to try and win those 13 games out of 19. So the big series there is England. They've got South Africa and Bangladesh away. Bangladesh, they should beat on home soil. South Africa, that will be up and down. I think that will be about a one or two one uh, test series. And I think India at the moment, where South Africa are, might get over. Over there. They don't play uh, the West Indies or Pakistan. Obviously, they don't play Pakistan. And uh, 
Next team we're going to look at is New Zealand. Now, they have a big opportunity of getting in the World Test Match Championship final again. Um, now, they do have home ground advantage against three teams. Uh, two of them uh, are Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. Uh, South Africa aren't travelling too well at the moment, and I think they can really dominate there. So those six games out home, out of 13, I think they've got a big advantage there to really leapfrog. Remember, they only need to win nine games. And when they go away... India for those two test matches is going to be very tough for them. And then they've got England and Pakistan, um, which for me uh, will be a deciding factor. But because of their home ground advantage and they've had that success away before, I think they're a big chance of getting into the World Test Match Championship final. They don't play West Indies or Australia, which is good for them. Rightio, let's go to Pakistan. This is an interesting one. We know that Pakistan are always up and down. They've got 14 games, um, so they'll probably have to win around about 9, 10 games to get into that final. What I like about Pakistan is they play the Western teams out home, Australia, New Zealand and England. That is a huge advantage. And people talk about uh, doctoring the pitches to favour the home team. Well, Pakistan, do this because you should be able to do it. You've got to give yourself the home ground advantage. The opposition teams have to come and sort themselves out and try and adapt to those conditions. With Pakistan... When they go away, they're playing mostly Asian countries. When they go to the West Indies, that will be a big one. What type of wickets are the West Indies going to have there? Fast, bouncy tracks, or they continue uh, to bring the spinners into play as well um, with a little bit of wear and tear over there. That will be the the, the interesting one for Pakistan, but I can see them beating Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. They don't play India or South Africa. So for me, Bangladesh have got a huge opportunity. But in saying that, When they're playing at home, uh, since 2000, they've only got a 50% um, win uh, percentage on their home ground. So they'll have to improve that against the Western countries. Right, let's go to South Africa. South Africa, for me, this particular uh, two-year period, are going to have the toughest uh, um, phase in cricket. Because in all three formats, they are going to be away from home more than any other team per games played. 61% of the time, they're going to be playing in away conditions. So that travel is going to wear on them. They're going to be in extra quarantine as well. So that's going to play a huge effect on uh, their performances out in the middle. They uh, aren't going too well at the moment. They're just trying to still rearrange their batting order as well. But just let's look out their home away. They play 15 games, seven games out home where they play India where they should have a huge advantage but because they uh, haven't got the big name players in their batting lineup, I think India can take advantage here. They also play Bangladesh and the West Indies on their home soil and I expect them to uh, beat those two teams uh, at home. But when they go away they've got a tough ask here. They've got New Zealand, uh, England and Australia. They don't play Sri Lanka or Pakistan but those away games, I can't see them winning any of those games so South Africa are going to have a tough time. We've got two teams left. We've got Sri Lanka first, uh, Australia and the West Indies on home soil, um, as well as Pakistan. I think there's a bit of an advantage there playing both Australia and the West Indies. I think they may win a test match or two there, but against Pakistan, I think uh, Pakistan with their bowling attack and some of their quality batters might overshadow Sri Lanka who are having a tough time at the moment trying to get a consistent 11 on, on board. So the home ground advantage won't be too strong for Sri Lanka at the moment with their weakened uh, 11. And when they're away, they play Bangladesh, India and New Zealand. I can't see Sri Lanka winning in any of those games. They don't play England or South Africa, uh, which are two stronger teams as well. So for me, with what's happening in Sri Lankan cricket at the moment and not having that consistent 11, uh, I think they are going to be uh, found out this year. Okay, the final team is the West Indies. Now, this team can be very, very destructive. Um, I think they're going to be dangerous. Let's look at their home and away fixtures out home. They've got Pakistan, England and Bangladesh. I think they've got a big opportunity of uh, having a lot of success with those seven home games. I think the home ground advantage over England, who 
on paper a better team, I think um, that home ground advantage can bring England back in the pack. And they might be able to nag one or two test matches against England there, which will prop them up the ladder at some stage. When they go away, they play South Africa, Sri Lanka and Australia. I can't see them doing well down here in Australia, but Sri Lanka and South Africa, they'll have a chance. So the West Indies uh, don't play India or New Zealand. They could be a, a team that surprises everyone and finishes in that top four. But for me, the latter, I've got it over here. I think with Pakistan's fixturing, and if they can stay consistent and um, not be as up and down as they are before, I think they will play India in next uh, World Test Championship final. Just looking at the fixtures and their home away status. So for me, the latter will be India, Pakistan to play in the final, New Zealand three, Australia four, England five, and then we've uh, finished it off with the West Indies, South Africa. The only reason why South Africa is so low is because their travel arrangements. And also, I think, uh, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh are going to finish in the bottom two. So that is going to be my ladder at the end of World Test Championship 2. Okay, what are your thoughts? Do you think uh, do you think the ladder will be any different? Get them downstairs and let's have a little bit of banter. But at the end of the day, I can't believe I've got Pakistan up there in the top two. Have a good day. Enjoy your cricket. <laughs>